Hi, Yarn Abyss. It's Sandy. Oh, been a bit of a week. <laughs> um, I just wanted to throw out this vlog because there's a few things that I wanted to talk about. Um, so let's get into it. First off, I'll put, I've got my, my list of things here in front of me. Okay, first of all, I have to make a huge correction. Uh, the last vlog I did, I really screwed up and I mentioned something that was wrong. Um, the correction is I won a $50 gift certificate uh, on the uh, Trisha's Mom Swift um, giveaway for Sharon. Hang on, I've got a dog here. Dog, go away. Um, and I screwed up and said I got it from the wrong person. I said I got it from Sins Crafting World. I did not. I got it from Crystal at Coffee, Crochet, and Cuddles. I am so sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I, I was thinking about um, how Mom Swift is, was doing her thing and then Sin was the, the next, Cynthia was the next person to do it. And I was thinking that. And I totally botched it and I said the wrong name. So correction, it was not Sims Crafting World I got it from. It was Coffee, Crochet, and Cuddles. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. Oh, I'm getting old, you know. <laughs> um, and I also won three skeins of uh, Karen Simply Soft from a new channel. I think it's a new channel to me. Um, I could be totally wrong <laughs> because uh, lately what's been happening is YouTube has been kicking me off of channels or not kicking me off, but I'm just, I'm either not getting the notifications or Bailey, go play with daddy. Um, I'm not getting the notifications or for some reason it's un unsubscribing. Like, I, I don't know what's going on, and I'm not the only one that this is happening to. But anyway, <clears throat> her name is Crochet by Night. Um, why does she crochet by night? Because she works during the day, and she is at home at night. <laughs> um, I just happened to go on her channel, and she was having a, a giveaway. It was really cool. Uh, so... I was, I stuck around and I was like, okay, I'm going to check this out. And I actually won something. So I won three, three skeins of red, like the really nice red, like I like, uh, skeins of Karen Simply Soft. So that was pretty cool. Um, so that's getting sent to me. So I'll show it to you when I get it. Uh, let's see. Okay. You're going to hear life noises. George's home. So if his phone rings, I'm sorry. I'll just pause the video. <clears throat> um, okay, so speaking of Sin from Sin's Crafting World, she is doing a fundraiser. Same kind of fundraiser as Mama Swift was doing, but um, she is giving away this amazing octopus named Apollo. Um, this thing is, you have to go over to Sin's, since channel and watch her videos because this octopus is I mean I thought the octopus I got Sandy from left is right crochet I thought that was amazing this one is so intricate it's insane it's insane the suckers on the tentacles she did all of those it's crazy so she's giving that away and then she's got I think there's like 26 I could be wrong. Um, other gifts as well that other podcasters and uh, subscribers have given, uh, uh, has thrown in as part of the giveaway. <clears throat> Me included. I'm doing a keyhole scarf and some fingerless gloves. So, yeah. Yay. Uh, what's in my cup? Coffee. It's, early, it's morning. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, tickets are $5 each and $20 for five tickets, I believe. So, um, I'll leave that link down below and you can, um, I think you have to do the tickets through Mama Swift. 
I think that's the way it's do, way it's going. Uh, <clears throat> so Mama Swift is taking care of all of that. She's such a sweetheart. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, in other news, <clears throat> this is something that um, Madonna. You should be doing this on Yarny Good News. Doing the <laughs> on today on Yarny Good News. <laughs> <laughs> Laura from Mab Mimi's Crochet has lost her nuts. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound right. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, let's go back. <laughs> She's gone nuts. <laughs> That's what I meant to say, not lost. <laughs> George is like, what? <laughs> uh, um, yeah, she's gone absolutely bananas. Uh, she's mm -hmm. Sandy from left is right crochet makes these crocheted eggs and inside these eggs is little amigurumi animals <clears throat> so every time one of these pops up in in our community Laura is just going crazy over these eggs and she's like I want one I want one I want one so she did win one at like last year but no that's not good enough for her she wants another one so um sandy gave one to in mama swift's um giveaway or uh not giveaway what's it called raffle <laughs> a fundraiser and laura was like i'm gonna win that egg i'm gonna win that egg i want that egg so now mama swift has Call, start calling her the egg beggar. <clears throat> well, now there's egg wars. <laughs> so, I, it, <clears throat> Laura did a video, or, uh, a live chat. Oh my God, you got to see this live chat. She's wearing a chicken hat and she's, she's going on and on about, you know, the, the egg wars and, and she made this massive egg and uh, oh it's it's getting nasty it's all in good fun it's all in good fun everybody loves each other they're just they're having a lot of fun with this but holy cow <laughs> so yeah so she's got a little cuckoo lulu <laughs> I love her but holy cow she's got cuckoo lulu <laughs> so and this egg that she made is actually not bad. It's, it's a lot of work. So, good job, Laura. Uh, okay. Um, I'm on a lot, a lot of my um, existing friends, yarny friends out there. My new friends probably maybe don't know this. But I am on a metformin. They've recently put me on metformin about a month ago. And uh, maybe a little over a month ago. And <clears throat> because I, I have, I'm just over the cusp of diabetes. And <sighs> I've been taking them now religiously <laughs> every day. And yesterday I went to um refill my prescription and, and tell the truth you've actually been feeling better since you've been on it not really like it's i do you not remember the conversation we had last night <clears throat> i i'm not like i don't really see a change like he said that i'm gonna be losing weight and i'm gonna be feeling better and i'm not all this other stuff but I couldn't figure out if it was the CPAP that was making me feel better or if it was the metformin. I think I figured out that it was the CPAP, but no. Uh, the metformin, I was getting bad headaches, like bad headaches in the first little while. Those are gone. But now I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't feel any kind of a difference. But anyway, um, <laughs> What had happened was <laughs> I messed up on my medication. And that could be why I'm not feeling anything. 
I didn't realize I should have read the freaking bottle, but I'm supposed to be taking two pills a day. One, I guess, in the morning, one at night. But I've been only taking one. The so I got to call my doctor today and say, um, so do I just start taking two now? Because <laughs> uh, I kind of screwed that up. Oh, my God. I can't even believe I did it. It says in big letters right on the bottle. <sighs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> um, what else? Okay, something I want to just mention. I don't want to get into do too much detail about this. Oh. Seta from Seta's Place put out a video. She's saying that, like, for those of you that have subscribed to Seta, she's such a sweetheart. I love her to bits. Um, she flew down to Virginia to help her mom. Her mom needed her help. And so she flew down there. She ended up catching COVID, and so did her mom. They're okay now. They're they've um, they're they're on the other side of it, uh, and everything's good. <clears throat> but Seta got this letter, this email, that was not very nice. And you can go watch the video. I'm not going to get into it, but it wasn't very nice at all. <clears throat> said is pretty broken up about it now the community always gathers when one of us is hurting and one of us has been attacked um, and this woman did attack her like it was it was not nice she didn't go into detail she went into it a little bit <clears throat> but <clears throat> excuse me it was not a nice letter. And I just, when I was watching the video, I was enraged. I just thought, you know, this virus is hard enough without people getting in other people's faces and talking out their ass about things they don't understand. Yeah. <clears throat> they just assume that they know what's going on. And if you knew Seta, you would know that Seta would do anything for anybody. And she is, she's got a heart of gold. So for somebody to blatantly attack her like that is not right. And I'm so sorry, Seta, that that happened to you. I really am. It's, I don't know. It's nobody's business to do that to you. You know, like... I'm always the one. Whenever somebody goes, something happens to somebody, I get on video and I'm just like, ah, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> it's like, oh my God. <laughs> um, but it's true. Like, I just, it just, it pisses me off. You know, it's like, stay in your own lane. You know, like, it just, she, she actually had this virus and had to work through it and get better. You know, and it could have gone all ways of, of crazy, you know, without this woman attacking her like that. Like it just, oh, it angers me so much. So, you know, be mindful of what you say to people, you know, because it's like Seta said, you have no idea what her mental state was when she got this letter. I mean, you could end up being emailing a podcaster that you have no idea has serious, serious depression and this does push her over the edge. And the next thing we know, we hear that we've had a death in our community. You don't know, right? So don't assume that you can, that can just attack someone like that and everything's fine. You feel better for doing it and you think that you've saved the world. Like, <laughs> it just hurt. Anyway, okay, I'm going to stop ranting about that because I'm, it just pisses me off too much. So, Seta, I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. Okay. I'm so glad that you're feeling better. I really am. Speaking of feeling better, 
Kim from Kim's Crochet and Knits is going home. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> I could just cry right now. I really can. Kim has gone through some terrible stuff in the last week or two. And um, we've been all on the edge of our seats trying to find out if she's okay. She's finally okay. Uh, oh, it was scary there. It was really scary. So I am so glad she's going home. Whoo. Whoo. Um, I don't know. Mama, ma, uh, Mama, la, the, Kayla, <laughs> Kayla. Uh, um, I don't know. I haven't heard anything about Kayla yet. I don't know. But <clears throat> yeah, there's a few in our community that are having some real issues. So send loving light and, and healing light out there to our community, please. Okay. Now I have some exciting news guys. Uh, my sister, she'll say m me and my sister, like me and her both, but this is really about her. Um, <laughs> I decided <laughs> that, uh, I was going to make her, her own Etsy page. And so I did, and it's called Cawing Crow Creations. We're all about crows, right? Crows are our messengers. Um, I gave everybody, like all the girls in the family, I gave them all um, crow earrings and necklaces for this Christmas. I, I couldn't wait. I had to get them. Crows are protection. Crows are, you know, they mean a lot to us. So I thought Cawing Crow Creations was, you know, the CCC. <laughs> you know, I thought I really liked it. So anyways, that's, I'll put that link down below. Uh, I have her bags, the bags that I've got done in there. I'm still waiting for some tassels for the other bags. Uh, the I thought the tassels would have been here by now, but I'm finding out that they're not coming till the end of the month. Yay. <clears throat> and... Uh, Lynette from Charm Grammy Crochet, I watched her video the other uh, couple days ago and she showed something on there that I, I instantly, you know, shut off the video, messaged my sister, said, I'm coming out to your place. We're going shopping and we're going to make these. All by myself. Yeah, so I left George. <laughs> Yeah. No food. Oh, no food. You're always fed. Give me a break. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, you're trying yeah. to go by? Yeah. Oh, possible. hold that thought. Sorry. Okay, where was I? Sorry, George had to walk by. He was going to end up having to walk in front of me because I'm like really close in to the couch here. Um, So, yeah, I was watching Charm Grammy and she showed these that she made and I was like, oh, Ding! You know, it's such an easy project, and I figured my sister would be able to do that really easily. And <clears throat> so I ran out, ran, ran out, drove out to her house, and we went and picked up all the stuff, and uh, and we started. We spent the whole day making them. And Lynette, I'm really hoping that you're not going to be upset that we did this. Sorry, George is walking by again. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Almost took him out with the <laughs> microphone cord. <laughs> um, I really hope you're not going to be upset with me that, uh, that I took this idea to my sister. Um, I'm trying to find different things that my sister can do to generate a little bit of money for her uh, and to help her out and to give her something to do, give her mind something to do. Yeah, to give her some purpose because she she's feeling like, like since she's not been able to work anymore, working was her life, right? And now she's just sitting around not doing anything and she's feeling really lost. So this was a brilliant idea and I... I, I knew it was something that she could do. 
Um, I helped her out with it at first, but now I think that she could probably do it on her own. Um, <clears throat> but I'll probably help her anyway. <laughs> so um, this is what they are. They're tea towels with the pot holder handle. Okay, so you put the button on it. Whoops. So you basically, you put this on your stove handle, like this is your handle, and you put this around, and it buttons up. And then it, it stays on, it hangs up. I hate, the, the one thing I hate, it's a pet peeve of mine, is when I put my tea towel over my stove or over my washing machine, and it falls down. And it keeps falling down. And I with my back the way it is having to keep picking it up it's a pain in my my back <laughs> right so this was a brilliant idea i love this idea so much so that's what we did all day and i ended up killing my back doing it but it was so worth it because my sister it lit up her face like you would not believe and she was like this is great. <laughs> and I says, yeah, it is. It's like, I, I was so happy for her. So I'm going to show you a few of the ones that we've made so far. Um, these are going to be going up in her Etsy store. Uh, I, I just have to figure out pricing. So, so this is the first one. Love builds a happy home. and restaurante isn't he cute <laughs> so there's that one and there's another one of these except this one has a gray on it okay and then there's this one Stand tall. Isn't that a song? Stand tall. <laughs> Burton Cummings, that's right. <laughs> okay. And there's Faith. Okay, now these ones I haven't finished. I, I'm trying to put buttons on them for her. Uh, but we ran out of buttons and I have to go and get some more. I have to do that today. So these ones aren't quite finished. <clears throat> this one says, the kitchen is the heart of the home. Okay. I love this one. Of course, you know, because it's got my colors, right? It's my jam. <laughs> okay. And then the back of the wine bottle. there and this one's very fall like Oop. okay I've got two of those <clears throat> and there's another kitchen yeah so I've got two of each of these so that's what I've got right now um, and once I get all the buttons on them, I will photograph them and I will put them up in her Etsy store. And uh, yeah, uh, the way I did it is because I'm going to be taking care of her Etsy store. Um, I put it in my name, but it is all going to her. So any money, any generated orders that come in, um, I will just be sending the money directly to her. So, yeah. So I'm really excited about that, you guys. Okay. <clears throat> uh, oh, and my niece. My niece is also going to be putting some stuff in there as well. She made these amazing choker bracelets. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, and then she made some earrings, like some crocheted earrings and stuff. Oh, man. You know those crochet hearts that she did at Christmas time last year? that she was sending out to everybody. She made stuff like that with little jewels and stuff. Oh, they're so pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm drinking kombucha. I'm not a kombucha fan. 
but this stuff is actually not too bad. Okay, last, um, oh, actually, Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook. Oh, what a journey it's having. Um, sin, speaking of Sin's crafting world, she seems to be the person of the day for me. <laughs> um, she is shipping the hook out to Crystal at Ricola. <laughs> Ricola's crochet corner. Crystal's getting the hook next. Yay! Um, Sin's video is up. It is in the links down below. Uh, and yeah, so Crystal, get ready. I, she might have actually already have the hook. I don't know. <clears throat> I haven't heard anything yet, but she might already have it. <laughs> the Australia hook is on its way to the Netherlands. It's going to take some time for it to get there, apparently. So we won't be hearing anything about that hook for a while. That one's having a bit of a journey. Okay whips uh that lady that bought the two pocket shawls from me uh she's ordered the third can i just say i hate using black yarn <laughs> come on she wants the whole thing in black and then she wanted to have the pattern that she picked out was it's like one row of double crochet and another row of V-stitch. Another row of double crochet, another row of V-stitch. Well, I'm sorry, but when you're using black yarn and you're using a smaller hook, you can't see the definition between the stitches. It all looks like double crochet. It was terrible. So I decided to just do the whole thing in half double crochet. And I've frogged this thing three times. <laughs> and that's all I've got done. <laughs> I, I should have this thing almost finished. And I, I haven't. So I'm going to be working on this like crazy woman all day today. So there you go. Uh, hopefully I can get, but she wants this just plain Jane. She doesn't want tassels. She doesn't want a button. She just wants plain Jane. I'm going, well, I can make this look so much prettier just by doing accent stuff, you know, but no, she just wants plain Jane. Okay, fine. So I am going, I am making another pocket shawl as well. Like after I do that one, I will finish this one. Isn't this pretty? I am using Cookie yarn from Hobium. Hobium or is it Hobie? Hobium. Hobium, I think. Uh, and this is color 46201. Isn't that gorgeous? So <clears throat> I've been wanting to use this cookie yarn for a while. And then I thought, well, I'm using two balls together because it's like a freaking two weight, three weight yarn. So, and I'm actually really liking the way it's turning out. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that's all I have to tell you. George is chomping at the bit to put the TV back on too. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it that's everything oh, i'm gonna go drink my coffee now and um get going on this stupid shawl oh yeah this this shawl is not or this uh pocket shawl is not going to be in one of my favorites because it's not um there's there's nothing to it it's just half double crochet the whole way and then pockets you know so i'm i'm a creative type you know, like doing something like this is going to be very daunting for me. So, <laughs> but anyways, okay, guys, um, thanks for joining me and uh, join me tomorrow for the 25 days of Christmas. 
and see what Rosalie gets me tomorrow. Okay, I'll talk to you later. I love you all. Bye.